Well, this was a blast. Recently, I had the chance to visit with the television play-by-play -play broadcaster of the Cubs, Len Casper. He was just wonderful to visit with, and we've got a week-long special for you. It's a conversation with Len Casper, and we'll start at the very beginning. I was pretty fortunate in that when I was maybe 12 or 13, and I did play baseball uh, all the way through high school as a, as a youngster, but I knew I wasn't uh, really good enough to play collegiately or, or beyond that. And uh, I grew up in mid-Michigan. I was a, a Tiger fan, and uh, Ernie Harwell and Paul Carey were the, the great radio duo of the Tigers, and I, I listened to them just about every day, and I thought that would be a really cool way to, to make a living, to, to be at the ballpark every single day and, and call the games from the best seat in the house. So I feel very fortunate that I knew what I wanted to do at an early age, and uh, it took me a bit to get here, but uh, at age 31, I got my first full-time job with the Florida Marlins in 2002 and spent three years there, watched a World Series champion in 03, and then, as you mentioned uh, earlier, a couple of years later in 2005, I uh, was very fortunate enough to get the Cubs job, and 16 years later or so, here I am. What was that reaction, 2005, uh, taking, getting the job with the Cubs, uh, absolutely one of the premier teams in Major League Baseball, and now you are the television voice of the Chicago Cubs. That had to be just a, um, an amazing day. Yeah, it, uh, it was quite a whirlwind when I got hired. The, the one story I tell people is uh, the home opener that, that April uh, at Wrigley Field, I think it was the Brewers and the Cubs, uh, I walk into the ballpark and everybody I see knows who I am, and I don't know who they are. And, and I hadn't experienced that before, even in Florida. I was very rarely uh, recognized outside the broadcast booth. But when you jump on the big stage with the Cubs here in Chicago, and at that time, as you know, on the superstation around the country, uh, there are Cub fans everywhere. And so it took me a few months to, to get to know a lot of the names around uh, Wrigley Field, but I've made so many great friends. And uh, it's really nice when people tell me that we're a part of their family on an everyday basis. And that's why this has been so difficult, is that everyone has a routine, and baseball is a big part of that ritual and that routine when you get into April and May and June. And right now, that's uh, certainly missing. 